Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to create that you can swim so just like this and if you go up you can swim like this and you can, can just go to so nothing special uh, not any particle system if you want to leave that go to my other tutorial that I will explain exactly how to create a nice particle system for it and you can just um, use it uh, exactly the same as uh, for this so let me just explain first everything here and well there's nothing special this 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 and this i explained in my weather tutorial this is for my uh, well also another tutorial and these are just crowns with our collider on it so you can walk around the blocks are just to bake the uh, the parts around the waiter itself and this is just to have some nice uh, this is just to have uh, those nice graphics for uh, that will look like it is a uh, waiter and also we put here you can actually think that will uh, make sure you are um, you are in the waiter and that's just a box collator with a tag of waiter and a box collator is also uh, set to is trigger and you create a new game object and it will not you can can't use this script on the normal fps controller you need a collider and also this is a trigger so nothing special it is exactly the same size as the character controller and as you can see um, there are some waiter swords and you get current weight sword the first person controller and the waiter collider and those things are just, uh, well, I will explain later why you need those variables. Um, well, in a normal innovator are just all weight swords. You can also add Leva or something like that. And there will be a few variables. Uh, first, the name, so you can uh, check in which category you are busy. You can change the walk speed, the run speed, because those two uh, change when you are in the waiter. Also, the craft multiplier will change a little bit and the stick to the crowd. Most times not, but sometimes it will. Um, for example, when you're in uh, mid or something like that. The uh, in mid waiter, I mean, the jump speed also is a little bit lower. Um, you will say that it is swimming. For example, if you will won't uh, use this, you can uh, make that it is uh, that you are drowning or something like that. Um, uh, it will uh, you will have some fog and that's just uh, well that will look like that you are in a waiter just the color the density and what sort of fog it is and for the normal uh, so just when you are walking around um, if you uncheck this one you don't need to use those three so well I have explained everything from the scene and now we are going to go to the script and um, I'm sorry because this is red it's just some problems when I uh, when it loaded uh, all the files so well that isn't important by uh, you guys it won't happen um, in this line um, it says we are going to use scripts and uh, uh, scripts I mean lists and in this line, we say we are going to use the first person controller and we are going to use this at this line. So it's just a variable you will assign in the scene itself. So you will, uh, you can change some variables in this script. You will have the, uh, an int from the current weight source and also a list from all the weight source that are possible. So if you've got waiter, leva, midi waiter, well, just where you can think of you can also uh, you can all have it in the same script and you will have the collider of the current weight collider where you are um, swimming in so it will every uh, frame it will check if you are in the waiter and it will do it like this way you will check first if the current weight short isn't uh, zero and zero was the one that well, it was normal so just when you're walking around Otherwise, it will first um, 
we'll see which uh, will uh, the position of the waiter. It will determine the position of the uh, waiter and where you are floating or when you are diving. And first, it will check what's the position of the object. Then it will add the size of it. So if you've got a bigger sized um, um, collider, it will also have a, a bigger number. So I think that's logic. And it will also add the center because sometimes you change uh, here the center a little bit. Um, if you do that, it doesn't matter. It still gets the same value. And it will um, it will minus this certain number and to make sure you are not uh, uh, it's that you uh, aren't if you are diving a little bit you get directly the fog. It needs to be done if you are just uh, when you are already diving a little bit lower. So well, that's the reason. Those two lines are just for me just to check if uh, what a um, what the factor three was and then it will check um, the parent's position of this game object and this is the parent and I think it's logic it won't check this one because this one is always zero 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 so um, well you get some rare, weird issues and it will check if this lower than well the thing we calculated here if it is it will from the current waiter uh, sort it will turn on the fog um, but first it will check if it has turned on fog and that's why it's only from the current weight sort and otherwise it will just uh, the fog will turn it off um, then it will on trigger enter and that's why it is a trigger and just here this uh, collider is also a trigger um, when it will uh, enter it, it will first see which collider it is, and it will assign to the uh, to the variable uh, the collider variable waiter collider, and it will check if the transform .tag is waiter. So you know, well, I need to be swimming right now, but it will also check if it isn't already uh, the current weight sort isn't already that and. That's something some tutorials don't add in the scripts, but this is very important that you have this because if you don't have it, it will currently, it will every frame, it will check, um, it will change uh, the walk speed, the run speed, everything else. Just uh, I will explain it later, but it will take a lot of frames, it will cost a lot of memory if you don't have this line. So you need to add this line, it's very important. And first, it will set a uh, the sort waiter, and that is one, of course, and it will set the current weight sort. So, um, also, um, if it will, uh, and a set sort waiter that is that are the, these lines, and I will explain it later. Um, then the on trigger exit, it will check if when you are exiting, exiting, uh, quitting uh, uh, on uh, trigger. And if uh, you are exiting a trigger, it will just check if the current weight sort uh, isn't zero. So we'll be sure you don't get weird issues. It will set a, a sort waiter to zero and also the current weight sort. And that will make if you are going uh, out of the waiter, it will uh, everything will be back uh, will get back to normal. And these are the lines that will make sure you are changing your uh, your feel of the waiter. So first, you will uh, assign some variables in the first person control script. And well, you need to prepare that first a little bit because those variables are normally private. So you just go to the script and change everything to public. Uh, well, at least all the variables you need. So, um, then you will change the walk speed because your speed is slower, also your run speed. Your craft multiplier, you are just going down a little bit slower. So normally it is uh, two or something like that. And if you're swimming, it will be around um, 1.5 or something like that. But also that depends on the sort of waiter you are in. So also, um, if you're on a muddy uh, 
on muddy water, it will also change uh, the stick to the ground force, but in normal weight it wouldn't. And also the jump speed will be different because you aren't jumping anymore, you are actually swimming. So that's also a little bit different. And it will also um, check if uh, it will also change the is swimming variable in uh, the first person controller. And that's a new variable that's just a boolean like this one. And if you are swimming, or if the variable is swimming and you have the input from cat button swim or jump is exactly the same. Um, but if you didn't uh, create the input swim, you are, need to uh, put here jump. You will uh, change the move direction from the ix to the jump speed. So don't ask, uh, ask me why I added this line. This this just works. So um, also, well, I think I explained everything from this part. But now we are also going to uh, check to the class way sort. And actually, I explained it earlier in this tutorial, but just uh, this is all the uh, variables how you need to call it. So just pause it and just copy it. Nothing sp very special. Um, also, you can add um, a particle system to it. For example, if you're diving, you get some bubbles and that sort of things. And that isn't very hard to make, but uh, I didn't have enough time to create also that. So you need to create it by yourself, but you just need to uh, add it here. That also um, a particle system will play and you will change the particle uh, images and things like that. You can see how to create this in my weather tutorial. I will put the link in the description. And well, I think that, uh, that was everything for this tutorial. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. That will be even better. But um, if you've got any questions or any requests about uh, which tutorial you want me to create, please ask. Um, I don't know for sure if you can answer that question or create that uh, uh, create a tutorial, but I will try. So, well, see you guys soon.